everyone in this uh, video I will show how to type some math notations in Microsoft Word uh, for example if having a file of Microsoft Word open and um, I want to type in a um, system of linear equations then I will first I want to click on insert then I will find the uh, equation simple functions right here right click on it and then here you have a lot of choices for uh, notations ma mathematics notations that you would like to use you use fractions you know trip uh, radical integral uh, so on and so forth and you see that there are brackets here so I want to click on this bracket scroll down to if I have three equations then I will um, type in here three equations okay. and in this box I can type let's say x sub 1 plus 2 x sub 2 minus x sub 3 equals to 0 that's the first equation the second equation is 2 x sub 1 minus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 equals to negative 1 and then let's say 3x of 1 plus x of 2 uh, plus x of 3 equals to 1 so for example if this this is a system of linear equations this is how you enter um, three equations of linear equations you know um, within a bracket and then if you want to move this if you want to put leave it in the middle is fine here and then if you want to move it you can click in here um, justification and move to the left if you like to okay and then if you want to convert this system into an augmented matrix a then you want to you know enter a matrix into um, as your answer right then you know that this is a system of three variables um, so you have you're gonna have three and then three variables and three equations then you know that you're gonna have three rows and four columns because three columns for the three variables and the fourth column for the constant on the right side of um, the equal signs all right so you know they have three rows and four columns and then I want to create a matrix so again you go to insert um, you go to equation and then you want to go to matrix so in matrix you can have options of you know just um, arrays without the two vertical lines but you can have option of the vertical lines here so let's go with the vertical lines oh no, not this one um, again insert equation matrix um, well we have we want to have three rows and four columns but you only have this um, this four options is fine just click on the two by two okay so you click on this two by two then you have two rows and two columns and you go oh I need to have uh, another row and two more columns so um, I would just like double click or right click here uh, and then you can go to insert uh, a row before or after it doesn't matter right you have you want to have another row so that you have another row there and then here you want to have two more columns so you're going to go to insert again you right click um, on the box and then go to insert um, and then you want to have column before or after it doesn't matter you just need to have another column two more columns and then another column here okay so now we have a matrix of three rows and four uh, columns then you can just enter you know the values for each of this um, box so you have one here two here negative one here right and then the fourth one should be zero and you have two here negative one here one here and negative one 
um, three, one, one, one. So this is an augmented matrix of A. Um, in the textbook or in the lecture notes, you know that you have a vertical line after the third uh, column here, just to just so you know that this is an augmented matrix. It's the matrix that representing for a system of three equation with three variables. But in Microsoft Word, unfortunately, I haven't found a way to insert uh, a, a vertical line here just yet. So we can just use this matrix with two vertical lines, uh, one in front and one after the array, right? Without the vertical line separating the coefficient matrix and the column of constants. All right, so this is a matrix, the augmented matrix A, and maybe you want to give a name, right? So click A equals this. And then you want to find the reduced row echelon form of A. Now here, um, well, first, if you want to, I think it's, it's easier to, to copy and paste and then you, you know modify uh, the matrix so click on this matrix here you know choose choose it and then control c go down here control v um this is not c but here is a right and then you want to um you have to start with a um and then you will apply some row operations into A in order to get the reduced row echelon of A. So maybe you want to have um, use a symbol. Um, well, use a symbol here and then s specify the row operation that you are using. Right, first, check the first um, and uh, the first entry of the first row, it is one, and it, so then this is a good first entry for the reduced row action form. But then if you look at the column, you want the rest of the um, entries of the first column to be zero, right? except one, right? Because at this point, the first row is a pivot row. And if the first row is a pivot row, then the uh, entries of the second row and the third row of the first column have to be zero. So is zero, then you can, um, that means you have to transform R2. And the way you transform R2 will be, um, let's say you take R2 uh, minus two R1, right? Because two minus two times one is two minus two is zero. So this is the first row operations. And at the same time, if you um, stay at, if you are staying at the same pivot row and you wanna apply a few more, a few applications row operations, um, then you can do at the same time. So for example, I, the first row here is still the pivot row and I want to transform this entry here to zero, right? The first entry of the second row is zero. I use this operation. And also I need to transform the first entry of the third row to be zero. That means I need to use another row operation apply on row three. So row three will be changed to um, row three minus three row one. All right. So there's two row operations and using this two row operation, you come up with a new entries, right? And my new entries here is going to be, so after applying this entry, you know, what you have is um, another one here and I can just copy and paste matrix A. Oh, it doesn't bring, it doesn't give you, it doesn't give you the, uh, the two vertical lines and then I need to copy the whole thing. 
So then I will have the vertical lines. Okay. Um, oh, the other elbow operation. Okay, here we go. All right. So now the first row stays the same. Well, the second row will be, you know, the second row minus two of the first row. So this should be zero, right? And then uh, you see that negative two minus four, a uh, negative one minus four will be negative five. Okay. And one minus two times negative one should be one plus two is gonna be three. Okay. And then negative one, you know, minus two, zero, is just gonna be negative one, so the same. And then go to the third row. Okay, the third row, the first entry has to be zero because that's how we uh, formulate it. And then the second entry will be one minus three times two, which is negative five. Uh, one minus six is negative five. And to the third entry, you will have one minus three times negative one, one plus three, which is gonna be equals to four. And then the last entry, you'll be one minus three times zero, which is just one, so it's the same. So as you can see that you um, start with matrix A, um, you apply the two row operations on the second row and the third row, um, to get an equivalent matrix to matrix A, right? And, and you can keep going. Um, now you get rid of, uh, now you finish with the first row, go to the second row. Second row now is a pivot row, make it equals to one, and then make the um, this entry of the third row equal to zero, and so on and so forth. You will have to keep applying row operations to uh, matrix A, until you reach the reduced row echelon form of A uh, to get your answer. Um, so this is the quick introductions or a quick demonstrations on how to use, how to type math notations, you know, matrix, matrices notations or system of linear equation notations using Microsoft Word.